Hi there, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 27th of May. If you think back over the last 12 months, I do feel that there may have been one defining moment in a key relationship. This could have seen you fall in love with someone, fall out of love with someone, meet a new sparkling friendship, or connect with a group of people that you really felt that you could completely relate to in a very smooth and upbeat way. And all this goodness has come from the fact that Jupiter has been making its way through your sector of relating. And when I say goodness, particularly if a relationship is finished, it's because maybe at the time it was very painful, but you were sprung from this situation, whether by choice or not, because there was something bigger and better waiting to come along. And if you're still waiting for that moment to emerge, this week can be truly significant. Because your ruler Jupiter is now going to be connected with Mercury, the planet of talk and thought, and Venus, the planet of love. This is truly significant stuff. It could see you want to hang out with one person or a group of people that you feel really mellow with, love exchanging ideas with, bouncing things off one another, or it could mean that you're about to meet someone new and truly thrilling and exciting. But you know, there is also a catch, because if you are too optimistic about your prospects around relationships, you could find yourself really being rather disappointed by one person's attitudes. Because putting people on a pedestal is actually not such a good thing to do. And it's not great if anyone puts you on one either. And Neptune is going to be doing its best this week to provide some confusion and some foggy thinking around the more emotional elements of relating. So, the best way to break this down is to commit yourself to be keen to listen, to share, to cooperate, to relate, and from this you can gain an awful lot, but it won't all be on your terms. It has to be about give and take. And if you're willing to enter into the spirit of this, something quite magical can happen. And then, at the end of this week, Mars moves into your sector of relating too. Now, Mars is much more impatient. It's going to be with you for six weeks in this area, and it's saying, I want it and I want it now, whether it's to a competitive job, having a greater edge when it comes to your sporting interest, or if it comes down to hunting that ideal partner. Now, later in June, Mars will go alongside Jupiter too, and I'll tell you more about that then. But for now, you do have an awful lot to look forward to this week, as long as you're utterly realistic. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.